This shares with you on our Guyana trip January 5th through the 14th of 2017. These ordinary men doing extraordinary work for our Lord. I'm Ben in the blue shirt, front row on the right side. Next is Jay from Florida, Carl's from Indiana, 14 year old John from Indiana, and Jerry's from California. This is the first trip to Guyana for these four. The rest have been to Guyana several times. Randy in the yellow shirt and Brian in the back row. Left of Randy is Evangelist from Mississippi and the two of them taught the 27 local pastors and Brian had services each night in a sports field in Wona. This picture was supposed to show me standing in the water getting ready to get into the boat. One half of the villages we have put wells in did not have boat landing so we got out of the boat in shallow water do as the Romans do. This pump was one of the first pumps that I built many years ago and had been out of service for a long time due to the broken rocker arm. The Parker boys removed the old pump, flushed out the well, installed a new pump which will last many more years. The old pump was repaired and was put back into use. This is a common Guyanese kitchen. This lady is making cassava bread, which is a food staple in their diets. It tastes something like our communion bread. This is a common scene as we travel down the river. Most of you older folks know what this is. This is, this is a two-holer. Some people plan ahead, and this single holer is set at the edge of the river so it never fills up and has to be moved. This is what a lot of the roads look like. Try to imagine what it's like to ride on this trailer with no springs. It was a huge blessing as our team rode in all day long, riding from well site to well site. This one team put in eight new wells and repaired one in six hours. It made me tired to watch them work. Here Carl and Matt are having fun with their new toy, a pipe threader, getting ready to install a new pump. We split up into two teams. This is the reason I haven't got everyone in action. In a total, we put in 34 wells. Here Jerry from California and Ryan are preparing another pipe for a pump. I hope this picture and the next one make you thankful you were born in the good old USA and your kids and grandkids have good drinking water. We were told the school has 200 plus students, preschool through 8th grade. This is where they get their drinking water before we put in a well. Are we blessed or not? We most always had some onlookers when we put in a well where Brian and Randy taught the 27 pastors and some guests. Most of them traveled many hours to come to learn more on how to preach. These ladies are making breakfast for the pastors. The food is called bakes. Our team was able to add jelly and peanut butter to ours and they tasted pretty darn good. Our team furnishes the food and transportation for these pastors. Sometime in real shallow water, some of our team would pull the boat. As you can see, I was the one taking the pictures. This is a church service under someone's house. They always sing praises for at least 45 minutes, and the pastor will preach at least 45 minutes or more. When our team arrived in Wona, the pastor wanted to take good care of Pastor Brian and the old man me. So he took us to a house with inside plumbing. Need I, need I say more? This house was over a half a mile from where the rest of the team was staying, so I chose to move in with the team and the two-holer. Brian stayed so he could have a place to hang up his clothes. Brian had this shower and our team had a five-gallon bucket and a cup to shower with. Another drinking water pond. Aren't we blessed to have been born in America? Coconuts are plentiful and good. We were treated with being able to drink the milk from a fresh coconut. 
A young boy was up in the tree look, knocking them down to us. This old guy had to try getting up the coconut tree. They thought they were going to have to call in a helicopter to get me down. Give me two or three more years practice and I think I can make it to the top. These people are refugees from Venezuela. They paddled a canoe three days so their pastor could learn to be a better pastor. We were able to give them rice and flour and several dollars our team collected for them. This is a government provided pump. I've seen three of these and none of them work. Our teams have put in over 800 wells and most of them are still working. We take in approximately 150 repair kits each year. Removing four bolts, we can replace the worn part and make the pumps like new. This is a, uh, showing a family taking a Sunday afternoon boat ride. Looks like they're really enjoying themselves. Children going to school, notice how close the water is in going into the canoe. Volleyballs and nets. In the last five years or so, our teams have taken in 50 nets and close to 100 volleyballs. The church youth enjoy competing with other churches. Pastor Ronald tells us the youth has many fundraisers for their church building expansion. Volleyballs. The youth come to church to play and many get saved. The last three years we have taken in well over 100 packets of garden seed so the people can enjoy a healthier diet and sell the extra. This year, Hazer Seed Company and Ed Rensler's church donated several seed packets. This 11-year-old boy named Eden, he always has a smile on his face. Pastor Orphan has taken on the responsibility of seeing that he is taken care of and gets an education. She is trying to get him to the United States to get him prosthesis. I want to share with you something you already know. <clears throat> we live in the most blessed country in the world and we're among the most materially blessed people on earth. The Lord has not blessed our country and us as American citizens just so we can heap more and more on our own selves. The Bible is clear that God has blessed us to be a blessing. In Deuteronomy 15.10, Scripture says, Give generously to God and do so without a grudging heart. Then because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. There are many ways to give back to the Lord out of the blessings He has given us. One of the best ways is to find people that have real needs in their life and seek to meet those needs in the loving name of Jesus Christ. This is why our mission team has chosen to invest our time, talents, financial resources in the country of Guyana, South America. The Amur Indians we minister to in the remote interior are known as a forgotten people. One of the greatest needs is clean, safe drinking water. Our team is able to take in pumps and well equipment and actually install wells in these needy communities. There are many expenses in putting in and maintaining these fresh water wells. We believe this long-term effort to install and maintain these fresh water wells in the interior of Guyana is a God-honoring mission effort. We would be honored to have you partner with our mission team and help us provide clean water to these needy people. Every person that has been a part of this mission in the past has received a greater blessing than we have been able to give. The Lord promises it will be like this in 2 Corinthians 9, 6, and 7. Now this I says, He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, then he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one do just as he proposes in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. We would be honored to have you join us in this Christ-honored mission effort. Not everybody can physically go to the remote mission field, but all of us can be involved in the Lord's work. We can open our hearts and wallets and financially support missionaries and mission efforts that the Lord makes us aware of around the world. None of us can do everything, but all of us can and should 
do something to support God's work. Twice in the Bible, God reminds us to store up treasures in heaven while we're on this earth. There's no better way to store up treasure in heaven than to meet real human needs in Jesus' name and to spread his gospel. Our mission teams always minister to real human needs, and we always do ministry in Jesus' name. We incorporate evangelism, Bible teaching, and proclamation of God's word as a central part of our mission efforts. We like to provide people access to fresh water and introduce them to the living water of Jesus Christ at the same time. We believe through meeting real physical and spiritual needs we're living out the Lord's command to store up treasure in heaven. It is an honor and privilege to serve the Lord in Guyana. We realize we cannot do this ministry without the support of God's people. Please carefully consider if the Lord might lead you to financially and be financially involved in his kingdom's work through this ministry. We would be honored to have you a, a partner with us in this ministry. If the Lord uses you to be involved, you can contribute by giving your money to anyone in this picture, and we will see that it is used for this ministry. Also, check out uttermostevangelism.org for Brian Tendall's work around the world. He is reaching thousands in many countries. I want to thank the following businesses for helping us in building the water pumps. And last year, Dennis Bollinger of CFC Distributing uh, was willing to build and furnish all the steel for the pumps. Andy Warner of Strataflow Products in Fort Wayne furnishes the check valves. And John Woodcraft of Precision Manufacturing for the hardened sleeves. And the, the following uh, supplied bolts and washers and labor. And that's Evansville Nut and Bolt Incorporated. Uh, Glass Solutions Group, O'Donnell Supply, Rule King Farm Stores, Fastenal, Hurricane Deacher, Onette Fabrication, and Tractor Supply. We want to thank them very much. I have good news. Next January the 4th through the 13th, we will be ministering in a new area for this team. 12 to 15 years ago, Ruth Ann and I myself led several teams to the Bartica a village only one and a half hour upstream from Parika. They have inside plumbing with seats on the stools. It would really be great if several ladies would come this time and minister to the ladies. Thank you and God bless. This is Ben.